Hello everyone, how's it doing? You guys are good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on today's video session. Here we go. You know what? Today we are going to be talking about Nintendo Wii U. Yeah, the system with a gamepad what was going on with the system we don't talk about it today just after this Capcom vs SRK2 EO Nintendo GameCube exclusive game Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's Capcom vs. K2 EO. Exclusive game on the Nintendo GameCube. This game is one of the best on the Capcom vs. K series. And. Maybe one of the most amazing games when you go, you know, from like, you know, all the SNK Capcom games. This might be one of the greatest games I have ever played. So, anyway, so welcome back to my video discussion today. And today we are going to be talking about the Nintendo Wii U. Now, the Nintendo Wii U used a gamepad we know that and it came with this nintendo wheel looking games console first of all we need to understand before even its release right nobody even knew that the nintendo wii u games console was coming out why didn't anybody even know about it because even when it was under development, Nintendo didn't even tell us anything about it. They didn't tell us anything about the system, if that's even coming out. No advertisement? What kind of system is that? With no adverts, yeah? If I remember, I have never seen a, a video trailer on this system. Well, I never seen one. The way the system was brought out. One day, I just walked up into one of my shops. You know what shop I walked into? Sainsbury's. And there, I saw a Nintendo Wii U on the on the shelf I go what the heck is that I was very surprised because I've never heard of the thing and by surprise in 2012 it was in the shops I was so surprised I go am I reading that right does that really say Wii U on there because it was called Nintendo Wii that I know of, and I was very, very surprised. But when I looked more closer, it just said, it said Nintendo Wii U on there. Very weird. Now, a lot of people thought the Wii U name. We know there's a machine called Wii, right? But we didn't know any system using a U in there. 
a lot of people are confused with the U in there. They thought the U stands for upgrade. They thought it was a Nintendo Wii, from Nintendo Wii, a upgrade. And the system is called a Wii U. What a weird name. Really, it shouldn't be called Nintendo Wii 2. What is wrong with Nintendo Company, I would have to say? I mean, if your system Nintendo Wii was usually successful, and it was, why didn't you name it Nintendo Wii 2? I have no clue. Why did it went for a stupid name? With the Wii U name. Absolutely stupid. That's the most stupid thing you can think of. The confusion carried on because people remember that the Nintendo Wii came with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. But this Wii U came with a gamepad. You know the con game controller that comes with the system? It's called a game pad. It's quite strange. Why is it where? Why is it called a game pad? It's kind of a weird name, really. But it's supposed to be a game controller. You see, this controller we got is not a normal controller. This controller it is a game controller. It's very giant sized but it's got a built-in screen in the middle. Okay and they thought it was just like an upgrade controller with a screen in there. And they thought the screen is just for like navigating menus with your finger or using the D-pad on the bones. They thought that they can use a stylus and do all these kind of things, but they didn't know that this thing uh, can stream games from the Wii U to the gamepad. A lot of people don't know that. Maybe some people did who read information about it before even buying it, but if you haven't ever read it, then people were confused. They thought it was a controller, like with a touch screen. This thing was special because you can stream Nintendo Wii U games on there and you can use a video program like Netflix on there, YouTube as well and you can browse on there. The thing was kind of revolutionary but the way they brought it is kind of weird. Let's talk about the revolutionary stuff on this thing first. Now the revolutionary stuff is like if we got Google browser on there you know this thing it reminds you of Nintendo DS because what they did here your television was the top screen like the Nintendo DS and the bottom screen was the gamepad yeah like in Google browser you know why it says that when you're on the main page? Google. Yeah, the big word, 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 right with Google on it. And it's got a search bar. That screen will be on your television. And when you want to write something on there, like a keyboard, right? That was your gamepad. <laughs> yeah, it was like that. It's incredible. So you could use your stylus and use a keyboard on it. Use stuff like that. I remember they released a game called Star Fox Zero. Now your television will display the game and you know the gamepad. The gamepad is the person who controls the ship. It did that. Okay, now you understand a bit about it, what he was doing. It's revolutionary. But the problem with this was, right, the way I'm looking at it, it seemed like a big problem. 
since we know the days of Nintendo NES uh, up to Nintendo GameCube, yeah? It was all game controllers, wasn't it? But there's never been a game controller with a screen. If we are using a game controller, what does it actually mean? It means that we're using a game controller to play on television. I think there's one thing is big frustration and confusing that I don't like about it. The system should come with two controllers. You can't just bundle the system with a gamepad. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We'll just go through that. When we're playing like normal games, which only require the game controller, you need you need it like a small game controller, don't you? You don't want a gigantic gamepad for every single game you play on television, don't you? So what this thing was doing, he was using this really huge gamepad for every single game. We don't need a game controller, I'm sorry, a gamepad for every single game. I think that's quite wrong. I think it's quite wrong, you know. If we look at every single system, you use the game controller. But that's the way you play games, don't you? But what is Nintendo playing right here? He's making you use a really big gamepad. We don't need something like that, do we? We want something, you know, which is quite small to play your games and all that. The next up, we're going to talk about a gamepad. So let's just check this out. Oh, oh some stuff man yeah right so we were talking about a game controller what you how you should be using it so another feature in this system was like you know when a persons using your television yeah your Nintendo Wii U can be connected on the same television right and the person can watch another program how does that, how does that work? I don't know how it works obviously your Nintendo Wii U is connected to the same television but you're not going to put that channel on whether your Nintendo Wii U is set on. The second person can watch his drama and film on television. And normally a person will do. Yeah? If your Nintendo Wii U is connected to your television, what happens there? While the second person is watching that program, you could put on your system, yeah, and then you have to activate, you know, from the TV, so it doesn't display on the TV. It goes onto your gamepad. You get it. So the 
the game will come up on your gamepad. What will happen there? You either you can stream your games and you can watch Netflix on there. Yeah, it's like that. That's a really, really good feature in there. It was quite good. You also can view your Google browser as well. Of course you can. What will happen there? Your Google browser will come up there and and the keyboard will come on the same screen in your gamepad. There were some games that you cannot play on your gamepad. I think that was Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. It was something like that. That game was only for your television, if I remember. But there's games like Super Mario 3D World or Mario Kart 8. You can play on the gamepad. But the second person can keep watching the program while he's watching. It's really cool. You could do two things at one time with this system. But these things were ignored. They were totally ignored. Can you see what the gamepad was capable of? It was capable of streaming a game or a Netflix and stuff like that. It's really, really amazing. I was so surprised what this thing was really doing. But a lot of people didn't even buy this thing because some people, because the way the system was brought up in the start, a lot of people ignored it because of that. The system was very, it had really good architecture in there, better than Sony PlayStation 3 and Microsoft Xbox 360. It was more powerful than them, the system was. That's what I've heard anyway. In terms of its hardware capabilities, it was a pretty strong system. A very, very technically superior system compared to Sony Microsoft system. And it's a surprise, isn't it? First time in world history, uh, Nintendo brought us a system which is more powerful. I'm very surprised on that. So that's what was GamePad was about, yeah? A gamepad had another facility where you had games, yeah, you could move. Like, if you had like something on the screen, if you moved it, like a gyroscope, it moves like that. It did all st stuff like that. And then you can view it like that. You know, like the Wii Remote, you can move the pad controller and you can move like all the screen on the TV. And you can even shoot shurikens from the touch screen. It was quite revolutionary what he was doing. I do find it pretty confusing because when we play games, we play with normal game controllers. It was making the package too expensive, man. Because, like, what Nintendo did, he bundled the gamepad with the Wii U console. And you were paying around about. 300 pound uh, Hold on Maybe not 300 and Maybe it was 300 But sometimes the price was like like 249.99 And it was quite expensive Some people find it really expensive what he was doing And the And some people didn't like the idea They go there's like a gigantic Controller with it there's not like a normal game controller with it. A lot of people didn't want to play a game like that. Well, you can't. You can't play a game like that. Not everyone, anyway. I... That's the thing I don't like about it. I don't like the idea as well. What I did on that. Because I think... It should have been like with a normal game controller. But you know, this system... It was made for a gamepad, you see. A gamepad. I think they should have bundled another game controller with it. A small controller, a normal controller. Like a Nintendo GameCube type controller or something. Or a Nintendo Wii U Pro controller, as we know. But that controller is too expensive. They could have done a cheaper version of that controller and bundled with the gamepad a Nintendo Wii U game controller. Without being a Pro controller. They should have done it like that. 
it's very frustrating because you need to have a system with a normal game controller. Otherwise, if the the idea, the way he was giving it to us, then the gamepad should have been removed. Yeah. Because what I can see, every single system that we get up, we get are with a normal game controller, aren't they? I think to make it cheap as possible, right? They could have done this. They could have get the Wii U with the Nintendo Wii U game controller. They could have done that. Then separately, people could have bought the gamepad. They could have done that. I know it wouldn't be really expensive because the gamepad alone was around about 150 pounds. I don't know how this would actually work. It's making the system too expensive, isn't it, really? I'm thinking that, was he any use of a gamepad doing that? If the system was becoming really expensive with the gamepad, then why did Nintendo release a gamepad with it? Then it should have released it. Then it should have released it with a normal game controller. Then they should have forgot about all this revolutionary technology. Because nobody can play with a gigantic controller. It's too big. We can't play every single game with a gamepad. It's too big. It was far too big, man. A lot of people out there do not have that kind of, you know, large hands, large hands to hold a gamepad. We know why Nintendo is doing that, but Nintendo needs to think wisely how they cut down this whole thing. I can give you one of my ideas what the company could have done. Number one. They could read the gamepad and the game controller together and try to get like a competitive prize out of it. Try to make it pretty cheap if they could. Or what they could have done, they could have removed the gamepad or gave it a Nintendo Wii game controller. And then it's up to a person if they still want to buy a Nintendo Wii game controller. They will have to buy that still. Because if you want the revolution technology, you will have to buy the gamepad. But I don't think it should be bundled with the system. That's why the system was becoming really expensive. And some of the bundles like, I think it's Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. That's $349.99. Oh my gosh. That's too expensive. Come on. The gamepad was messing everything up, man. Come on, Nintendo's got to think. Is anybody going to pay that kind of price? Because in terms of a game's console, people don't want to pay that kind of price, do they? It was pretty expensive, I would have to say that. I think the best way would have been, if you want, because Nintendo Wii U gamepad was pretty revolutionary, really. We still actually needed that. We need to correct all these mistakes. First of all, when the system was in development, right, they should have gave a lot of information about it, yeah, on the internet. They should have talked about it and they should have told us what's going on within the development, you know, what's so special about this system. Uh, they should change the actual design of the system, I think. I don't like that. It just looked like the original Wii. It was no good. All it was just Kirby from the side. And there should have been some ad adverts on it while they were, you know, developing it. And as when it's like getting like completed and all that, there should have been like video trailers on there and stuff like that on YouTube. Uh, yeah, they should have done stuff like that. And the system shouldn't came with a Nintendo Wii U game controller, not a gamepad. Yeah, 
and the gamepad should have been sold separately. I'm sure people would have bought the gamepad anyway, separately. But you can't make people buy the gamepad within the system because it's not the right way to do it. Because no games console ever comes with a very large size controller, a game controller like that. You have to bundle a system with a you know normal sized game controller. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could have done that. And then, uh, and then, obviously, se separately, they could have sold the gamepad anyway, and people can buy it whenever they ever they need one for some of the games. They could have done that. You don't have to force people to buy a gamepad, like, which is bundled with the system. You don't need to do that. This is where Nintendo was wrong. Obviously, this system was specifically made for a gamepad. But bundling the system with a gamepad, he was wrong because he was making it too expensive. So they should have sold it without that. So, I mean, that's the way I'm looking at it. This system could have done really, really well. They made lots of mistakes in it. I don't know what happened to Nintendo with Nintendo Wii U. It seems to me it's never supposed to be successful. It's supposed to be unsuccessful. They want they, they just got to get to Nintendo Switch. It was just the way it's going to be. But great shame really. So anyway, hope you guys understand what they should have done. Yeah. So I'm still waiting for my Nintendo GameCube. We're gonna be unboxing that if I do get it soon. As soon as I get it, we're gonna be we're going to be unboxing one of the most amazing games console on the planet. This is not the Panasonic Q console, by the way. It's just a Nintendo GameCube in black, but it's the Japanese version. It's a fully boxed version I got. Yeah, so it's going to be pretty interesting. So, but we've got the unboxing video. I'll give you more details on the same day. So, hope you like my video today. Give your likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.